Hey, this is Mike Durr, the Kingwood Mortgage Guy. Listen, I wanted to go through this NRL e-signature uh, disclosure group, and I wanted to bring this to you because it's been a stumbling block for some people, and it's just not intuitive. So there's a, a valid reason why a lot of people get stuck on this thing. So this will hopefully make it make sort more sense. I'm going to give you three different ways to do it. I'm going to have the PowerPoint. I'm going to have the uh, PDF document and then I'm gonna have this video so you get to choose how you do it but this is based on new disclosure rules that came in effect October 15th 2015 and I'll tell you the real estate industry was <laughs> thrown on their head I mean it's been ch it's been a huge change it's changed for realtors it's changed for the title company and the purpose for the change was good the actual implementation has been pretty much a disaster but this is where we are right now these changes really affect the first part of that whole loan process so I wanted to make sure that you had as clear a way to get through this as possible and of course I'm also available to go through this on your computer and talk about each disclosure that comes across so I want to make sure the whole premise of this is to make sure that you understand what the cost of doing uh, buying a home is in today's market so let's do it you're gonna get an initial notification the borrower receives notification via email that the disclosures need to be signed and it's gonna give you some information here and then it's gonna say a bother borrower authorization code is generally gonna be the last four of your social so that's a fail safe for you don't if you get stuck on a place to enter a, a number go for the last four of your social in most cases uh, this is the bottom of that page. I'm going to skip back this. This is the list of documents to review and sign. And again, you'll see that. Bottom of page two, it should, should you have any questions, it's going to have my name and my email. And then, of course, my NLS number. So I'm going to go with that. Okay, create your account. This is where you're going to put the street number of the address of the property that you're buying. It goes right there. And an example of that is if the street address was 1414 Puppy Dog Trail, what you're going to do is you're going to put 1414. Okay, that's all that goes in there. The Puppy Dog Trail actually should be listed out here. So some people got stumbled on that. An alert sent to your email accounts. The email is going to come from elliemay at efolder.com. Now I'm going to encourage you, if you don't see it, it comes pretty fast. And if you don't see it, check your spam folder. Sometimes those things go to the spam. You're going to activate your account. And again, when you click here, you're going to click once to activate it. Enter the password you choose. I always encourage you to make a simple password that it's going to be easy to remember. Sometimes I uh, tell people just use your first name and the last four of your social. Then you hit put that in there and then activate your account. Secure website. Now this is critical because this is a stumbling block. You cannot access this website from a smartphone or a tablet only from a computer and only using Internet Explorer. That's not the normal browser. A lot of people will use Chrome or they'll use Firefox. or But Internet Explorer is what is designated for Ellie Mae. So anyway, go figure. It's just one of those quirky things. Now on this one, on the links that you're going to come here, the natural tendency is to double click. It's a one clicker. All right, you just click once and then it's going to give you some options. So that's important. There are three tasks once you get to this point, and it's view, sign, and then print. So you're going to view here, give you the documents a chance to look at them. Here, you're going to go, actually, I want you to go and I want you to e sign. That's where you sign. And then the last and third thing, a lot of people skip past this because the signing process is a little tedious, is to print the final group of documents. These are the ones that have to be e-signed. Now, on the uh, this e-sign, let me go back here. Is if you go backwards, you'll have to start all over. So I, I encourage you when you're going through the e-sign, the cancel button and the next button are way too close to each other, and several times we've had to start over because somebody just grazed past the cancel button it's very sensitive and instead of the next button so just a FYI be careful because you'll have to go back and do the whole thing again uh, need docs printed signed and dated and returned to me so that gives you the option here there also is an upload button and I, I haven't used that yet but I think that you could probably upload different documents there the e-sign option it is presented to the borrower 
And if there are multiple borrowers, they can sign independently of each other. It, it's really important that you uh, do this e-sign. When you see this e-sign button, I always want you to click on it. Agree to accept electronic disclosures. You're asked if it's okay to receive electronic disclosures, and I encourage you in a very aggressive way to do that because doing it the alternative way is going to extend the amount of time it takes us to actually get the documents to you and to, to get them back and we don't want to do that we don't want to extend the closing because we didn't know, accept electronic disclosures all right verify and identify and then sign so here you're going to enter the password to verify your identity or this could be your last four see it says here uh, provided our last four of the Social Security, then click Borrower. This is what it looks like where you sign. You don't have to date it. When you click on it, it's going to date it the date that you did this. Okay, very important. Congratulations, you've e signed, and we're done. Congratulations, you've just finished. Uh, what signatures manually signed? Again, print those. You're going to sign them. You're going to date them. You're going to send them back to me. Very important. That really allows us to start initiating the loan process. And then you're done with the initial disclosure. So congratulations, you're through. Hopefully this is helpful. If it's not, feel free to call me and I'll go through this in person with you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.